The United States says it is ready to strike Iran. Washington's envoy to Israel saying the United States has plans in place to attack Iran if it has to stop Iran from developing nuclear weapons. Is the time for diplomacy running out? Senator Lindsey Graham joins us. Good evening, sir. Good evening. I've heard that before. I've heard a different way, which is all options are on the table, I think the President said, or the Defense Secretary has said, about Iran. Um, but I guess the key question to me is, how much time do we have? Not much. What is that? I mean, like, nobody well, knows. I mean, that, well, right. that's a big well, difference. That matters. Well, it does. If the Iranians believe between now and November, our election, that this country, our country, Obama, will not strike them, they think they can take a strike from Israel and survive. They know they can't win a fight with us. So the goal for the Obama administration is to convince the Iranians, if you don't stop enriching and come to the table and open up your program for international inspection and cease uh, enriching uranium for weapon use, for uh, nuclear weapon purposes, that you could be subject to a military strike by our nation, they will stop. Until they believe that, they will keep enriching uranium. They don't fear an Israeli strike. They why? Fear an I mean, American why, strike. I mean, I, I, the Israelis uh, have been rather decisive when they have they struck. They will strike. They will strike, it, and they've Israel been decisive. Strike, so why don't they fear the Israelis? Well, they think that the Israeli Air Force doesn't have the capability to totally neutralize their uh, nuclear program. They're probably right, and they believe there'll be a backlash in the world against Israel. They think they can take Israel on militarily and survive. They think there'll be a backlash in the Arab world and Europe against Israel if Israel has to do this by themselves. But they know they can't withstand a strike against the United States. So, President what? Obama, if you're listening out there, please convince the Iranians that all options really are on the table. Many were suspicious a couple months ago when there was a front page story of the New York Times mm -hmm. saying that uh, the Israeli uh, Air Force couldn't do this alone. They had a, this long sort of explanation about how far the flights could, f could fly and have to refuel and make an extraordinary right. effort. People thought that that was somehow leaked from the administration that in an effort to scare Israel off from acting alone. All the above. You believe that? Yeah, okay. I, I think this administration has had a very bad policy toward Israel. They've thrown Israel under, Israel under the bus regarding the Palestinian negotiations and leaking these stories about military capability of Israel doesn't help. We should all be focusing on Iran. Israel's not the problem. The Iranians are the problem. They're the ones who killed Americans in Iraq. They're the ones that helped Hezbollah and Hamas bring terror to the world. They're the ones that want to destroy the state of Israel and us. We should be focused on this Iranian regime, not Israel. All right, two things. One is that there's a meeting next week in Baghdad about right. with, with Iran about Tuesday, Tuesday in, order, in trying to decide, you know, more discussion about stopping right. the, but we've had those discussions before. <laughs> yes, we I mean, have. Some think that all these sort of repeated uh, meetings yeah. is just an effort to buy time for Iran so they can continue to develop, which is why I go back to the first question, how much time do we actually have? I would, uh, the sanctions against Iran have hurt the Iranian regime, but they haven't changed their behavior. It's my view they're still bent on getting a nuclear capability, that they talk and enrich at the same time. And the only way they will stop marching toward a nuclear weapon is if they believe the regime's life is at stake and their livelihood being at risk, and that means a strike by the United States. Here's what we should do. We should tell the Iranians, no more negotiations. Stop enriching, opening up that site that's in the bottom of a mountain that's been a secret site. Uh, then we'll talk about lifting sanctions. You're not going to get to enrich uranium anymore, period. Uh, all right. Uh, I think they'll probably say go fish on that one.